Hello everyone, welcome to Ride Brookland Rover in Uddersfield. Today we've got a Jaguar XF R Sport D Auto, 2.2 diesel engine, four door saloon in grey. It's got a full franchise service, but the service history is online. So I've had to ring up Jaguar. I've not got it stamped up or anything in a book, but I'll, I'll explain all that later. And the MOT expires on the 15th of June, 2017. Let's take a closer look at the car. Not much to report, to be honest. You've got a few stone chips located in and out. I've counted about five, to be honest, five or six. Got a deeper stone chip there, if you can see it. Panning across the bonnet, not much to report there either. You've got about a couple of stone chips located on the front there. That's about it. Panning across on the arch here again, not much to report. Checking out the windscreen again. It's all in good order. Nothing to report on the roof. If you have a look at this alloy here, um, tire here, sorry, you're talking about four mil, four and a half mil of tread. Have a closer scan of the alloy there. As you can see, it's in good nick. Just needs a good clean, get that dirt off there. Panning across, nothing just part on the mirror housing. Again, it's a pretty clean car, this one. So there isn't much to report. Coming along, no, sorry, it's just a bit of dirt. Checking out this alloy here. As you can see, it's in good nick. And the tread, you're talking about a good five mil of tread there on the tire. Moving along to the back. Again, I do apologize for the dirt on the car. All this is just dirt. You've got a minor little chip there. But apart from that, it's in excellent condition. If you're coming down the off side of the car, it's gone down there. Doesn't seem to be anything sticking out to me. Again, I think that's just dirt there. Yep, it's just dirt. So panning across, windows are all fine. Panning across, now coming to the uh, passenger door here, we've got a scratch and it's running along there. It's not too deep, but I can feel a, a bit of a groove. So I reckon that should polish out, to be honest. And that's more or less it, to be honest, for this car, check out the mirror housing. Looking at this alloy here, Again, it's the same, doesn't require a refurb. And the tread, you're talking about four to five mil of tread on that one. Now let's check out the inside of the boot. As you can see, it's pretty clean, more or less looks brand new. Spare tire, all your bits and bobs. Now let's have a look inside. There's your door panel there. Checking out the part lever, part cloth seats. As you can see, could benefit from a really good valet, to be honest. It's not too dirty, but could do with a valet. As you can see, nothing to report there, either. Now let's check out the front. Here's a close-up of your driver's side door panel there. Nothing to report, to be honest. Again, seats are in excellent condition. You check out the bolsters there, as you can see. They're in mint condition, carpets, etc. Looking along the dash, nothing to report. It's pretty immaculate in there. Now we've got the manuals that come with the car. MO, doesn't need the MOT because it's under three years old. There's your V5, two former keepers. It's got your two sets of keys there. So let's start her up. As you can see, it starts up fairly nice. And the mileage is at 16,510. As you can hear, all your blowers and your radios working. Take a closer scan of your central console unit there. It's got navigation, check that out. And it's also got a rear view camera. There we go, there's your rear view camera. Close up of your steering wheel. Also got a sunroof if we have a quick look at that. Yep, works in fine order. Close it up. So there you have it guys, a well maintained Jaguar XF. 